Steve DeSager. All right, Rob, big news of the day. Just broke, uh, what, with an hour or so ago. Mike Budenholzer, the head coach of the Milwaukee Bucks, is fired after they got beaten in five games by the eighth-seeded Miami Heat. I almost want to call them the ninth-seeded Heat because they actually lost the play-in game and then won the second play-in game. So, um, Rob, no surprise. The only thing that surprises me, if anything, about this is you probably saw that Budenholzer, one of his brothers, got in a car accident during the series and died. And there was some thought, or I should say speculation, that maybe that might save him. I mean, um, you know, it, it shouldn't because, and it didn't, obviously, because, you know, it, it's obviously it's unfortunate. Everybody feels for Budenholzer and his family. But that had nothing to do with this decision, I'm sure. And you do have to divorce yourself from all the personal things. Look, Rob, I'm sure the ownership and the front office and the players, I'm sure everybody really likes Budenholzer. You know, has good relationships with him and stuff. But you have to divorce those personal feelings from this decision. And so when you take that out, I mean, Rob, it, it, it almost feels like it was just the only thing to do. Not that he's a bad coach. He'll probably get another job at some point if he wants it. But you go out to the eighth seed in five games. You got the best player in the league. Uh, and, and it's happened before. Uh, they lost to Miami, of course, in the bubble in five games. And so they've got a short window, Rob. I mean, I'm short, but, you know, you got, you got a superstar player. You've got the type of player the Bucs haven't had, Rob, since Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Lou Alcindor. Uh, at that time. And you've got to maximize the opportunity that you have. Rob, OKC, they had Kevin Durant. They had Russell Westbrook. They had James Harden. If you had told them maybe two years into that, the tenure of those three, or, you know, after they had gone to the finals, that they're not going to win a championship, I, I think they would have probably thought you were crazy. And they didn't. And those guys are all elsewhere. James Harden in Houston, gone. Like, when you get one of these players, Rob, especially when you're a small market that doesn't typically get these guys and is not a free agent destination, you've got to maximize it when you get one. Rob, they're fortunate that they got a guy that's not hopping around looking for a super team or a big market. San Antonio had that with Tim Duncan. They've got it with Giannis, at least to this point. And so they 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 had – I think it was the right move. I, we'll see who they bring in, but I, I think it had to be – I totally disagree. I think this was a railroad job on Mike Budenhauser. Uh, his star player missed two and a half games uh, who wasn't healthy. The guy did – you're right. He got knocked out twice, Chris. I get it. It doesn't feel good. But in between that, they also won a championship. And I don't know what's happened to the NBA and where we are because I don't know who's out there. If you told me he was going to go hire a 60-year-old Larry Brown or somebody, then I'm all for it. I don't know who's going to be hired. I don't know who's out there. I'm not so sure that whoever you get is going to be as good or better than Budenhauser. And I'm not even saying he's a great coach. Budenhauser. And I'm he not is even a good saying, coach. He, I'm just coach. saying, but I'm saying like, like he, like, oh, he's a great coach. Let, let me say it that way. But my point is, just like Frank Vogel with the late, a, a championship means absolutely nothing. Where you had coaches and Chris, I'm not saying let's go back to the '70s and '80s when Doug Moe and 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 uh, who's the other guy? Uh, the, uh, uh, the guy who, played for, who coached for the Bucs. Oh, my God. I just forgot Don his name. Don Nelson. Don Nelson. These guys coached for 25 years, never won anything. Like, like never won. And now you win a championship two years ago and you're running the guy out of town because your star player was hurt and, and you lost. And you had – of course. Did you expect to go on the first round? Uh, maybe maybe Mike, Mike B should call – Giannis and say, I thought there was no such thing as failure in, in sports. Because I, cause I, I got blamed for the failure. There must be failure. And I just, I think this is, 
a prisoner of the moment. Now, if you told me, Chris, there are issues going in and you wanted to fire him last year or, or he doesn't get along with people, then, then, then I'm off base. But if this is just a knee-jerk yeah, there was that. reaction, I didn't get that, but I'm just saying. I'm, right. I'm just covering right. myself in case there's right. more that we don't know. Right. But if this is just a knee-jerk reaction to getting knocked out by the Heat and Butler, and you talked about it. You even said this when they lost. You brought up Giannis being hurt for two and a half games, Chris. I mean, that's just no, fair. That's to. not making an excuse they for They still shouldn't have lost. I, I get it, but that but that's not making an excuse, but those are facts, that they weren't at full strength and their best player was gone. But neither and, was Miami. Yeah, but, you but know, you also— Tyler but you also, Hero was gone. Yeah, but you had a historic performance by Jimmy Buckets, Jimmy Butler, whatever you want to call him. But I, I just—I don't know what—normally, and I know times have changed a lot. Chris, a championship used to buy you some time. It, it means nothing. It, you know, to to be fired and well, Frank Vogel won a championship. No, in the it's bubble. not just Frank Vogel. It's Frank Vogel, Nick Nurse, Ty. They, Luke. They, they, exactly. They all got Jason. They, they've all been fired, but you know, this is like I said. When in, when will the Milwaukee Bucks ever get another player like this? Maybe no, never. How you, long did they go between Kareem and Giannis? Thirty. I get that, but do you know who the years? coach is going to be? Are we are we confident that the next guy? Will be better. That, I, that's my point. I don't point. know who the next guy is going to be, but I do know that Giannis. What also is a fact that in that press conference, and I'm not saying blood is on Giannis's hands, but Giannis did say, and we know Giannis is not the type to throw a guy under the bus. He's not the type to. I, I bet he had nothing to do with this. I would think because he just doesn't seem like that type of guy. He probably don't even bring me in. It. Y'all make the decision. This is your job. But Rob, he did just speak from the heart and say, "I want. I, I would have liked to have guarded Jimmy Butler." He did just speak from the heart and say, "We should have double teamed Jimmy Butler." We saw the mistakes that Budenholzer made, not calling the timeout at the end of regulation in the uh, overtime game, uh, not uh, calling the timeout. Heck, not even getting a shot off at the end of overtime in that loss with Grayson Allen essentially dribbles out the clock. Like, I the, and, and Rob, there were questions about, there have been questions about Budenholzer. Not in terms of off-the-court stuff like you referred to, but there have been times where people have questioned his coaching over the years, even going into the championship season. The championship kind of was like, okay, it kind of saved him. Because remember, as you, you, you kind of alluded to, they lost to this same Miami team in the bubble in five. Right, which which I understand. But but coming off of this, and, and there's always coaching mistakes. Whenever you lose, you could go back and look at stuff. I, I could I could look back at when uh my when when uh, LeBron and them beat San Antonio and and you know, you would consider Chris Pop a, a top ten coach, top five coach. Would you consider that? Absolutely. Top and 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 he doesn't have Tim. He doesn't have Tim Duncan uh, in the game needing a rebound, and that was the one that uh, Miami got the My rebound. Shot, right. And, right, Chris. That that that. I don't even have to be a basketball coach. Why is Tim Duncan not in there? I need a rebound in case he misses the free throw. Am I right or wrong on that? Like that. That no, was that a, was a mistake. That was a major blunder. I, I was sitting there watching at home, going, "Where's Tim Duncan?" <laughs> That's what I said. Right. So, so I get that. I just wonder if a championship, even two years removed, means much. And this has turned into now. This is this is how they do business in the NHL, Chris. And I know you don't follow hockey like that, but coaches get fired left and right. Baseball's a little different. Baseball, we've seen people, you know, milk a championship. Mike Sosha won a championship with the. Angels, Chris, in 2002, I think he might have coached another 15 years, managed, you know what I mean? Another 15 years after that. Right. But but this is, uh, uh, and you could point out the mistakes, and I'm not trying to cover for them, but, boy, it just feels like, as John is talking about, oh, I should have uh, I should have guarded Jimmy Butler. Re- real? Oh, okay. So you never thought to go over to, to the coach and say, well, he said he was asked about. It. He said, 
Look, you got you respect the coach That's, and let him make the And decision. he's coming off an injury as well. So I'm just I, – I, I, it's easy after the fact. But but also, did did he also say, I have to make – I can't miss 13 free throws? I mean – Yeah. Miss 13 did. free throws. He did. He, missed, he makes half of those and you're still playing. They had two double-digit leads. I get it. To the fourth Terrible. In those last two Chris. games. I told and you. I, look, like I said, didn't Bud- I tell you their record is 0 11 when they're down 3 1? I, t- I, t- yep. I picked them. Bud- will get another job I, if he wants it. I'm, I'm certain of that. Like you said, he's a championship coach. Frank Vogel's name's been mentioned for new jobs, right? Ty Lue got, he obviously got a new job with the Clippers and it's been great. You know, Nick Nurse will get a new job. Like these coaches, they'll get their new jobs, but he's been there five years. Maybe they feel like it. Obviously, they feel like it was time for a new voice. But it'll be interesting. I I don't know who they're going to hire. I haven't heard any names out there. Um, but we will see.